On this episode of Mockpocalypse, we're talking about digital superstars, epic music videos, celebrities and music. Every band starts as a punk band, but then some of them learn to play music. They just sound country. Flat and Scruggs sounds country. And you know what's even better? Their names were Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs. They could have been Lester and Earl, and it would have still been country. You know it's yacht rock when you can do this. It's like you're dancing to a breeze. In a sense, New Wave was all about places. You had bands like uh, When in Rome, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Berlin. Berlin had a song called The Metro. That's two places, for crying out loud. And then Flock of Seagulls releases Iran, which dummies, they made it about running, but everybody bought the song because they thought it was about the country. All right, so my favorite song about smoking weed is uh, Two Joints by Sublime, because the math can get really intense if you're stoned. Smoke two joints before you smoke two joints, and then you smoke two more? Whoa. All the big hair during the disco scene didn't make sense at all to me. Everybody's gonna cram into one room and dance all night long. You're gonna end up looking like a lasso apso that just took a bath just drenched and just hanging. I want to say Dee Snider's hair was the best because it was kind of awful, but you can describe it as right place, right time. So Ian Gillen of Deep Purple said he might have invented headbanging, but really what he was doing is what he called hair floating. I am so glad he's not in charge of other things like throwing horns. He would have been like, oh, I called it like, um, I called it uh, Wiggle Fingers. You know, rock and roll, Wiggle Fingers. A party song's very demanding. A lot of put your hands up, everybody dance now, shots, shots, shot, 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 shot. All right, take it easy. I'm not the help, all right? I'll participate when I feel like it. Right now, I'm talking to this nice young feminist, trying to figure out if she has ironically roofied me. Once I get done with that, I will shake it in the manner to which you decree. Perhaps, like a salt shaker, so be it. The Kings of Leon are an anomaly. Usually when three brothers from the South get together and do something with their cousin, it isn't music. John Bon Jovi is so attractive, they named the band after him. And Steven Tyler is the lead singer of Aerosmith. One duo I'd like to see get back together are the ladies from Two Girls, One Cup. Now I know it sounds like a trio because of the cup, but let me tell you, they get back together, give me some new stuff. Certainly, the classics are classics for a reason, so throw some old stuff in there as well. And who am I to say it's not music? Who am I to say? Did Nirvana change music? Look, no one changes music. Music is melodic noise created by the devil to make you lazy. Nobody changes that. The pressure to produce a second hit can be devastating because there's always that voice in your head that says, come on, Kermit the Frog had two hits. It ain't easy being green and Rainbow Connection. You can't write more than one hit. You can't do better than a frog puppet. And once you start thinking that, oh, it is just a spiral of devastating thought and you never write a hit again. The Jackson Five had more hits than anyone else and that's just when their father took off his belt. Sometimes an artist will really like a song, but it won't be the genre that they themselves work in. Like Sid Vicious will want to do a Sinatra tune, so he'll have to like do it punk. Or like the Kronos Quartet will like a Hendrix song and they'll make it classical. Or Justin Bieber will like a song and turn it into garbage because that's the medium he works in. The Steely Dan's song, FM, is kind of like the tuxedo t-shirt of music. Like, yeah, it'll fool some people into thinking it's classy, but not classy people. All I know is juggalos like two things, music and naked breasts. And when Tila Tequila performed for the gathering of the juggalos, they threw bottles at her. They booed and screamed, and she tried to appease them by taking her top off. And they said, no, we like music more, more than your naked breasts. And I admire that. Booty clap? I feel like that's a dance move that has really crossed a lot of genres. I feel like it could really work at EDM shows. And by the way, it is my favorite. It's my favorite. Send your booty clap videos to at Stout Ryan on Twitter, ladies only. Jonathan, ladies only. 